Hello everybody and welcome back to Survival Challenge. So before we do anything, we just need to finish the drilling. I did leave this going on a worker and the dedicated server paused when the last player left, which was Chainsaw. And yeah, it's done most of it. It detected the tree stump over there. So we are going to have to get a stump grinder. Uh, we're going to get a stump grinder when I've done this, I think. But I also need to make sure I prioritize the fertilizing and the herbicide spraying in this field. Because if we leave it for the crop to grow further, when I come to do it, it's going to destroy the crop. Obviously, if we had row crop tires on a tractor, we would not have that problem, but all the tractors that I have do not have that option. So yeah, just doing it before the crop grows too much is gonna be the best bet. So yeah, I'll just do this really quickly. It won't take long, just finishing the sorghum. Obviously, this piece is gonna be a day behind the rest of it, but that doesn't matter. There's no rush. And I was actually expecting that field there to be ready. Maybe the one beyond it is ready. I think it might be. So actually I could get the combine underway immediately. Stick that on a worker. Hopefully it doesn't um, drill over the bits that's already been done, bits that have germinated. I don't believe it will do, but you just never know. Yeah, it's ready and this is good because the price is still really good for soybeans. I'm gonna try and get the workers to harvest this without me doing the headland first. It's going to be a challenge for it, but it can't be too hard, can it? Surely it's going to do it. Right, so yeah, it managed to do that a little bit. It didn't do it very thoroughly, but it's done a bit. It saved me a bit of time. So I will just get this finished off, and then, yeah, we'll just do the spraying, and then we'll get the stump grinder. Okay, so we need to buy a little bit more herbicide and we need to get some diesel. And then after that, we're gonna be on to uh, liquid fertilizer. Actually, do we have herbicide in one of these two? Let me just check. Uh, these were obviously put here before I tied up the yard up. So in future, we're gonna have a designated area for these. No, they're both liquid fertilizer. <laughs> uh, so yeah, let's just buy an IBC of herbicide. That's that one there. We should have enough liquid fertilizer, but they might just be partially filled. I would like to think that we can take the entire IBC, because we do have this uh, booster tank on the front. Actually, I'd be very disappointed <laughs> if we can't take it all. Should easily fit. Okay, so that's the front tank, yeah, and it's definitely going to fit, because we've got the rear tank. Perfect. And now for diesel. If I didn't have the um, booster tank, I would buy the stump grinder right now and take it back, but we have no way of transporting it. So there is the fuel cost, 231 pounds. It's obviously showing 221 because I moved forward. And it is just this strip and then we can Fertilize. How are the greenhouses getting on? The flower one is full. Yeah, that's a bit of an issue. That's filling uh, overnight. Well, that's good. It doesn't have much of a capacity. Um, but yeah, water seems to be good generally. Certainly with the large greenhouse, but the smaller one, I suppose, is uh, yeah, it's lacking a bit. Now, 
Many people have said move the uh, the water tank up here. To be honest, it really doesn't bother me now that we have the bigger tanker because we just do one big full load and it does everything. Uh, it would be nice if it was down there, but if it's too expensive to move, then it's really not worth it. I'm actually surprised that so many people are saying that I should move it because I'm normally criticised for wasting money and in my view, just getting rid of that to put it back over there is a bit of a waste of money. I can just drive to it in... But, 10 seconds. But anyway, yeah, if it's cheap, we can do it. Come on, unload. Why won't it unload? Is it because it's... I don't know. I really don't know. Weird. Apparently there is space there, but there wasn't space in the other place. It's a mystery. Just move these flowers so that more can spawn. Resume that production. They will eventually be put onto the trailer. How many are going to come through? Let's just see. Two. Yeah, so once that area is filled, it doesn't take long to stop the production. Okay, now for fertilizer, and I'll see you back over here with the stump grinder. Looking good. Okay, so as you can see, that's the first application done there. That piece wasn't. Oh yeah, I was meant to, meaning to do that, wasn't I? So that does need to be done. Uh, that is going to have to be done right away. Actually, it's really good that field isn't ready because yeah, it would have been missed. We'd have only got a single application, and I can follow the tram lines as much as possible. Um, I do have an area in this field where I can actually enter the field so we don't make a bigger mess. Nope, I've decided against it. It's the wrong orientation, so if I was to do it, it would just be so messy. We'll just have to leave that. Uh, but in future, I will indeed do it so that we are always fertilizing and stuff before we have to put tram lines in. Anyway, the combine has done a good job. It is finished for now because it is full. Come on, worker. Let's go and pop this into the trailer get the stump grinder which I keep saying but I always have another job pop up I want to start cultivating the new plot I just wish we had a bigger cultivator because it's going to take forever I feel we should just do one massive field we actually can just do one massive field because we also have the um, the planks to sell as well as the flowers so we could sell all of that and make a load of money and then buy a big cultivator Actually, we could probably buy a big cultivation and sell it again in the same day. The depreciation might not be too bad. Might be a bad idea, I don't know. <laughs> um, but if you think about... Well, we're not allowed to lease. And if you think about how much time it would take to use the small one, maybe it is worth it. Anyway, yeah, let's get over to the store. The way I'm going to do this is, as we cultivate, we're going to remove the stumps as we find them. So, we're not going to go hunting for them. We'll just naturally find them, because the cultivator will probably get stuck. Ah, uh, where is it? Didn't think it was so expensive, but it is. Ah. Well, the combine is going to be our next big purchase, uh, but I, I've gone off uh, the used vehicles. I don't think it's worth it. With the maintenance and the servicing immediately, uh, is it worth it? I don't think it is. So we'll, we'll definitely buy a bigger combine, not yet though. 
So yeah, let's just go with the uh, stump grinder. It will be sold again though later in a future episode. Now I could actually put that on the front and a cultivator on the back. The cultivator will take most of our money, but it's only temporary. I will not be keeping it. So, well, do we go with a disc harrow or do we go with a cultivator? Probably a disc harrow. They, they all take a lot of power. Uh, let me just find one off camera. Okay, so realistically we can't go too much above our horsepower. So this one here seems to be a good one to go with. And it's actually not as expensive as I was expecting. So we'll get that onto the back of this tractor. This tractor is not going to be pulling it though. Our bigger tractor is. This tractor can do the stump grinding. But we do need to sell the planks and the flowers and stuff. We'll let a few more spawn. Okay, so although it doesn't feel like it, we're now in our own land. We'll keep this nearby. That's working well. And this is the tractor which we're going to be using. I, I think it's so much better now though that we have the yard. Because we, do, we just keep everything so much neater. Some people, well very few people, but some people uh, said they hate it. How can you hate two sheds and a bit of concrete? It's just a yard. Well, everybody is entitled to their own opinion, I guess. So, uh, we will plough on. Uh, I will be putting... Uh, we probably will join these fields together eventually. We could just have one massive field. Sounds boring, but it would be the best way of making a lot of money. And we do need to keep quite a big area here. I think we'll probably concrete this area eventually. I'll have to do it when we've got nothing in the pits because the texture tool will overwrite the crop. Uh, we do need to get these things shifted. The forklift will move them nicely. So will the cultivator as it turns out. Yes, that that's working surprisingly well. Come with me. But the tractor is pulling it fine. I just would not want to have anything smaller than this because it is a huge plot. It's something which is going to be a long-term project, I guess, because it is going to take more than one episode to do this. And I can't use a worker. It won't work on this area. Well, that's one way of getting the IBCs into the yard. Very nice. Um, I will unload the combine in just a second. I don't want that to stop. We need to sell those soybeans as soon as possible. And I need to try and follow my boundary line. I do not want to be over it. That should be alright. Once we've got the marking out, it's going to be really easy. Ah yes, the combine that's stuck in first gear. I don't know why. I don't know why the worker doesn't shift up. It's a mystery. But with it emptied again, it should be able to finish this field. Come on, worker, I'm not in your way. Apparently I am. There we go. Yeah, so um, there'll be a bit of income coming in from this. We just need to make a good start with the cultivating. Is that already emptied? Wow. That emptied fast.
you might say, I'm stumped. I can't find my stumps. How weird. Uh, they must be there somewhere. But I was expecting the cultivators to catch them. Anyway, this is where we take a break because we should have a finished field of soybeans. Well, actually, it's missed. It's actually done really well. It's missed a piece over there, but it's missed a piece there as well. Uh, this one over here is the significant bit over towards the forklift. Uh, well, yeah, we've got plenty of space to uh, just quickly pick these bits up. And this big, big field that we're going to do, I do need to think very carefully about what crop to put in. Because it wants to be a crop which is going to be priced really well when it's time to harvest. So, yes, I'm not too sure what it's going to be. This combine needs diesel too, I've just noticed. Found another piece. But there we go. It's going to be a good load of soybeans to sell. And that plus over there will be ready next time. And I'll probably join these two together. I think actually I might join that one to that one and these two together. So we just have two big fields. But that's not bad. Things will get better over time as well. Things will be fertilised properly. But I think, yes, even if I do go down the current route of just fertilising before the crop grows too much, it's not going to be enough. Because we need to do two applications, and the second application will be done when the crop has established more. So we're going to have to replace the international tractor with a bigger, a slightly bigger tractor, which also has the capability of having row crops. That is my plan. Oh okay, yeah, it's a side tip. Catches me <laughs> every time I keep thinking it's going to tip up backwards. Maybe you can change it. Ooh, switch to passenger seat. I've never seen that function. Well, I probably never acknowledged that function actually. Oh, what fun. Must be so you can take other people around with you. I know that was a new feature with the, I think it was the Kubota pack. It's a good feature for multiplayer. Anyway, £20,000 there. Nice little boost for us. I don't think we need to take anything back with the lorry. So we'll just take the lorry back. We'll quickly get the planks and the flowers sold, just so we can really get that bank account balance higher. And then we can continue with the fertilising. I've put that in a really bad place. That sprayer. Well, they'll be out again in the next episode. We need to get the forklift over here. We need to... I think actually we need to make the IBC store the uh, shed over there with the walls. Then I can stack them nicely. Okay, this is a good time-lapse, just getting those planks put onto here. Some people said, um, do you actually need to stack them? Because it's such a big trailer. Obviously the answer to that is no, we don't. The reason why I was stacking in the previous episode was just because it's easier. And faster. If we did them individually, I'd have to keep making lots of trips to the lorry. But if we have more to spawn, all I have to do is, well, that. <laughs> wait for it to spawn. And then I can just lower it down, like that. So, that's really the reason why I'm stacking, not to use less space on the lorry, just because it's faster.
Okay, uh, not many more pallets have actually spawned, just one. Uh, we'll pop these on. We really should refill these greenhouses today too. So we can do that once we've sold. We've sold everything here. It's all right, you don't need to watch all this. There we go. So 8,000 litres of flowers, 17,000 litres of planks, and 1,000 litres of wood chips. And that cultivator is brilliant. You can see how fast I've done that first bit. We've got a bit of tree felling to do, though. I don't plan on keeping any of those trees, except for the one with the rock. Because obviously that rock is... Uh, an inanimate object that can't be moved. I guess a tree is, but well, it can be moved, but it's it's not exactly animated. You don't tend to see dancing trees. Let's watch that money fly up. Oh, that might have been a hundred thousand if that hadn't tipped over. No, it wouldn't. Close though. So we're back, despite buying the cultivator, we're back up at 189,000 pounds. This is great for us wanting to buy that next tractor. Should be the next episode. And now we can do the water. We still have a bit in here. I can go into there. And we're going to get a full load. Yeah, if I am keeping it up here, I'll put a track in. Haven't fully decided, actually, I haven't really looked into it, have I? I haven't looked at the prices. So if I was to sell it, I don't think it sells the moment I click on it, does it? Shouldn't do. £1,400 back. Okay, that's not much. Um, and, yeah, to replace it. 3000 so basically halved in, in uh, value. There were a lot of people saying move it. As I said, it doesn't bother me one bit, but... Okay. If we put it... Where do we, there's not really anywhere to put it though, is there? Um, interesting. I guess there would be best. Okay, well, whatever. Let's uh, let's get rid of the other one. They're not expensive. It will speed up things a bit, but not much. I think the valve does close halfway through this. It takes so long to fill. Yeah, the valve closed at about 53%, but we're almost there. And this should be more than enough for those two greenhouses. Actually, I'm going to have to back up. Because if I turn here, we're going to swing into that field, which will destroy the crop. But if we swing into this field, it doesn't even matter, because it won't destroy the crop. I'll probably make a... Well, when we eventually put the, the tracks in, I'll make a big modification. We'll have a much larger area here. So we can actually turn. But first of all, we have the flower greenhouse. Looks like another flower... Pallet has already spawned. Let's just get that picked up and move to over here. Yeah, now we have these booster tanks, it does take quite a lot. I think it might be doing both at the same time because they're all in the same area. Yeah, let's put it to it. Yeah, that's good. They're all full. 
So that is us done there. Let me do a little bit more cultivating and then we will call it a day. Okay, right, I think that'll do for today. We'll clear the trees next time. We'll also get the worker going with the drill. So I should be able to keep an eye on it, make sure it's doing everything properly. But yeah, if we can get this whole field drilled in the next episode, that would be absolutely incredible. But what should we plant? Please do comment down below. What would be the best thing? It needs to grow in time, obviously, uh, in time for the best price. Like wheat is quite slow and it's good in December. So yeah, wheat would be a, a really bad crop to go with. So it probably is going to be something like, well, I wouldn't be surprised if it's soybeans. Yeah, I don't want to keep doing soybeans though, that is so boring. Oh, corn. We could do corn, we'd have to get a different header, but yeah, we could do corn. So let me know. Thank you so much for watching, hopefully you've enjoyed it, and until next time, see you again very soon. Bye for now.